Hi, this is Mario Knapp and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on Eagle Tail Landing, including a driving tour, and also Heritage of Sanders Grove, with a look into their social hall. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to update you on the villages, particularly the villages of Westlake, namely Newell, Lake Denham, and Dabney. I'm also going to tell you about a development that has been on the books for about 10 years in the city of Leesburg called Sil uh, Secret Promise. It's twice as big as the villages in Leesburg, and it's surrounded by the villages. I only heard about this recently, so I'm sure most of you haven't also. So stay tuned to the channel for the next video. We're taking off and heading toward Eagle, Eagle Tail Landing. Subscribe if you get a chance, it really helps the channel. Actually, um, leave comments below, click like, and so you can subscribe using the YouTube icon in the lower right hand corner of the screen. We're coming up to the entrance on Route 48, where Rumford Road used to be. And um, there's a sign there, you can see the diagonal concrete wall. We're coming in uh, at this entrance and heading southeast with the drone, and we're going to be flying around a lot of these roads. And I'll, I'll uh, tell you the names of the roads as we do when we do the drive-through. Uh, the drive-through, I'm going to come in off of uh, Number Two Road, which has two signs actually. Almost looks like the main entrance. So we're uh, coming down, and you can see there's a lot of walls that, and you, a lot of walls that they put up, and, and you can also see at this point an elevated area, and, I, and you'll see that more closely when we drive around. I'm not sure why it's, it was built this way. It's just uh, maybe uh, uh, two, four or six lots that the, uh, the homes are going to be elevated. And this is the only section that's, that's uh, pretty much ready for con uh, construction of homes. It's the front section or the northern section, and then you can see that chute that you go through to go from the front section to the back section. And the back, I didn't even fly over the back section. I, they may be working on it, but they're not doing much. I think they're focusing on getting the front section or the northern section ready for uh, model homes, which have to be coming soon because um, it, it's pretty much ready. Although I did not find a, an internet site for Eagle Tail Landing. You would think that that would be there uh, concomitant with uh, uh, availability of homes. You, you'd like to be able to advertise maybe even before the homes are built. So I don't know when we're going to see model homes, but probably in the near future. This is that elevated area I, I told you about. Uh, it's, it looks very unusual. It'd be interesting to see why they're doing that. That's a construction vehicle on the road there at the, uh, toward where Rumford Road uh, used to be. There is, it still is, I guess. Now we're heading toward the entrance on, um, on number two road. And you can see the two signs there, the two diagonal concrete walls, which I'll show you what the sign looks like when we uh, drive in. We're gonna be coming in on uh, Black Kite Avenue. Here it is, This is that's the sign. This is Black Kite Avenue. And you know, these names are kind of strange. And we're gonna make a right on Broad Wing Loop coming up. There's a backhoe, an excavator rather. We're gonna make a right turn here onto Black Wing Loop and that goes around, curves to the left. And after it, uh, the area just to the left of when we make this curve is gonna be a park. Right here to the left is gonna be a park. Now we're going to come up, make a curve all the way around, and we're going to make a right turn on Stellar Seaway, shown here. And then at the end of the road here, we're going to make a right on Golden Eagle Boulevard, which takes us uh, to the entrance on Route 48. So you can see that uh, the two entrances are not very far apart. See the traffic in the distance on Route 48, and then the road on the left, which is a continue uh, allows gives you access to Rumford Road. And there really wasn't anything on Rumford Road, but I guess that was part of the deal. If they're going to take away the entry, uh, 
the entrance off of 48, they'd have to give people access to it because there might be some landowners back there who have a right of way or some sort of uh, agreement there. And we're going to head uh, south on Golden Eagle Boulevard and then make a left again on Black Kite Avenue, which is the, the road that comes in off of number two road. That was Stellar Seaway on the left. You can see the wall straight ahead. They really excavated this out. They dug this out. The land that belongs to the uh, Gil, uh, uh, G. Gilbert Scott um, uh, Foundation is uh, certainly a lot a higher level. I guess they just wanted to try to level all this out. Now we're going to make a right on Broad Wing Loop, which is the road we made a, a right on when we came in off of uh, Black Kite, onto, uh, off, off our number two road onto Black Kite. And then this just ends at the, uh, the chute, I call it, which is a la uh, connects the northern section with the southern section, which is where, this is where the uh, land prep pretty much has ended. There are 110 homes in, the, in this first section and a total of uh, 500, 542 total. So here's where I had to turn around to get back. Now I'm gonna be going north on Broadway and making a right on Black Kite. So kind of strange names, I guess different. Maybe asked our marketing group to come up with something different. Okay, we're gonna make a right turn here and take us back out. Oh, no, no, that, I'm sorry, that was uh, African Fish Court. That dead ends on uh, route on number two road. Make a right turn here. And this is uh, Black Kite Avenue. That's the excavator we passed on the way in. So it's not very big, the section that's uh, complete, for or the, the, where the land is complete for home construction. And now we're going to go back in the air. Yeah, that's African Fish Court, which uh, kind of dead ends into a T. Show that to you. Uh, we uh, rode by that road. Looks like they threw some grass down to help with erosion until they could put lots in and... Um, homes and lawns. Now we're going to head west toward uh, Heritage of Sanders Grove. Okay, one more pan around. Check out the area. And you can see in the distance there, briefly, the area of land in the back, which is another 400-something uh, homes. So this is just the beginning the section you see up front. And you can see the, how far back it goes, and it's not even all cleared yet. All those pine trees in the distance have to come out eventually. Okay, so we're making a uh, quick run about a mile down the road on the other side of route, northern side of Route 48 to Heritage. And uh, somebody tried, uh, corrected me uh, when I was talking about the name of this community. I can only tell you what's on the books for the city of Leesburg. And uh, what's on the books is uh, Cottages at Sanders Grove. And, you know, somewhere there's Heritage in that name as well. What's marketed by the uh, 
the builder may not be exactly what's on the books in, uh, on the city uh, uh, database. And uh, the city also states that there are going to be 133 homes here, which at one time I thought was more, but uh, that's what's on the books now. You can see the, the homes they're building in the lower section of the screen, just going off out of the picture is the social hall, which we're going to get a closer look. You can see the, the new homes that are being built. And um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the website. It gives you a range of square footage, like 1600 to maybe 1850 and price ranges in the 300s or so. I, it's, it's all on there if you want more details. Just check out the website. And... Um, it looks like they've, uh, I haven't been into the um, sales office, so I don't know if they're only selling the perimeter lots first, but look, that's where they're building. And um, they pretty much, uh, I'm not sure how many models they have, but they're pretty much all just rectangles. Uh, they're deeper than they are wide. And that they, people and, and builders do that to get more square footage on a small lot. And these are the uh, this is the west western section of the development along the perimeter road. I would guess in a, in a couple of months, probably these will be occupied. And there's maybe six or seven homes that were there from when Pringle was the uh, uh, builder. And that's the social hall right there. And, and you can see they, uh, they must have, they did a lot of work cleaning it up. They're gonna be inside here in a moment. There it is, there's the, the library. It's kind of sectioned off into different functions. There's the exercise area. This is, uh, I guess, a gathering area, TV area. And then there's like a, a game, a card room, card tables and the sort. So it's pretty nice. It's, uh, like I said, 133 homes, so it doesn't have to be very big. I'm sure it'll accommodate the uh, size of the community. And uh, clearly they've done a lot in the last month and a half of clearing, prepping the land for building homes. So it looks like they're gung-ho and they're going to be moving pretty quickly. This is uh, being built by D.R. Horton. I don't know. They're the builder. I don't know who owns the, uh, the land. They're probably working with some landowner. Uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching. If uh, you have any questions, leave comments and uh, I'll try to address them.